This morning, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go ahead and move to item number three on the agenda. Ask you for approval of today's agenda. Make a motion to approve today's agenda. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Item number four, utility permits, secondary roads. Uh, update. Utility permits that I know of. Uh, secondary roads wise, people from Ackley will care. Uh, S56 is still moving along. They should be starting their concrete patching on Monday. And then after the fourth, they're going to start milling it, so then the road will be a little rougher. So you got a while, but things are progressing well. Uh, we finished our interviews today for our new applicants, so hopefully by the next meeting, I'll have something for you guys there. Okay. Good. And they got one loop done of putting rock on the gravel roads, too. So okay. make progress. They've been shouldering, too. Yes. Not regularly, but yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, item number five, public comment. This is a time to comment about anything that's not on the agenda today. Julie? Oh, no. Okay. No, no, no. It's on the agenda. Okay. So we'll get there. All right. Next on item number six, ask for approval of minutes. Move the approval. Move to approve the minutes of June 20th, 2018. I'll second it. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Item seven, approval of claims for payment on June 27th, 2018. I'll make a motion to approve the June 27th, 2018 claims for payment. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Next, we have a couple fireworks applications. The first is Robert and Patricia Gerke. I will make a motion to approve the fireworks permit application for Robert and Patricia Gerke. Um, the dates to be displayed will be July 7th with the rain date of July 8th. And the location of the display will be at 19747 205th Street, um, the west side of the lake, away from campers. I'll second that. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor of approving the application, say aye. 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 Next, I have an uh, application from Junior Prusa and Union. Um, I spoke with Junior and advised him that the application. Uh, he was asking us to supersede the local ordinance on fireworks, so um, he understood we would not be considering it because of state code with fireworks and local code that uh, if the city wasn't able to grant him one that we were not going to act on something that supersede the city ordinance, so um, that item will be removed. Okay. <clears throat> item number nine is our Fiscal year 1819 appropriations resolution. I'll make a motion to approve the fiscal year 1819 appropriations resolution at 95%. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Some of that reason would be um, when we originally budgeted the wages, we budgeted higher than we were paying. Okay. So, and granted, I don't know if the 95%, I didn't do the math to break it down, but 95, I don't believe we need to budget a full 100% if that's what it was based off of. Okay. And we can approach it again later if need be. Okay. Right. Okay, I'll second it. Okay. I have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Aye. 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 Item number 10, 
is a resolution for interfund operating transfers. I'll make a motion to approve the resolution for interfund operating transfers. I'll second. I have a motion a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, Nancy. Aye. 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 Item number 11 is advanced issuance of payments resolution for fiscal year 2018-2019. I'll move to approve the resolution for fis fiscal year 2018-19 for advanced issuance of payments. I'll second it. I have a motion to second. <coughs> Any further discussion? I'll ask Nancy for roll call. Aye. 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 I have item number 12, resolution for budget appropriation adjustments within the same service area. I will make a motion to approve the resolution for budget appropriation adjustments within the same service area. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Nancy, roll call. Aye. 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 Next item is the joint venture agreement with Greenbelt Home Care. I will make a motion to approve the joint venture agreement with Greenbelt Home Care. I will second. I have a motion to second. Any further discussion? This is I know um, due to the change of ownership. Um, Hanson Family Hospital has um, submitted a letter stating that they no longer want to be owner, part owner of Greenbelt Home Care. So now this agreement is just between the city of Eldora and Hardin County as owners. Hardin County has a 75% share and the city of Eldora will have 25% share in Greenbelt Home Care. Julie. Question okay. Mayor Dunn, would you like to add anything? Yeah, uh, I don't want to add anything, but my only question is, is the JV agreement, I think the last document I saw was called bylaws or amendment restate bylaws. Is there also another agreement? They joint venture agreement or are we talking about the same document? Or? The joint venture agreement is the one that I understand needs to be approved um, in order for Greenbelt Home Care to continue serving after July 1st. And to file their annual Medicare, Medicaid. Okay, uh, great. I don't, I'm, the city should, never uh, mind, I'll check the The city's attorney, okay. yeah, I think your attorney has been in on the emails. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that could be, there could be some emails I'm unaware of, so. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask for roll call vote, Nancy. Aye. 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 Okay, item 14, um, we, I'm gonna ask the table until after uh, our performance review of Jody Mesh. So, so we'll be reconvening yes. yet today? Yep. Okay. So, so I need to motion, make a motion to table that? Yes, please. Okay. I will so move. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Next, I have item 15. I have uh, two changes of status from the sheriff's office. Move to approve the change of status of Michael Brace, Sheriff's Office, Correctional Officer, hired $13.12. Second it. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Move to approve Sarah Knott, Communications oper Operator, $13.12, hired permanent part-time. Second. <clears throat> I have a motion to second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Next. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Uh, do, you know, I see that they're permanent part-time, but they have, they have actually full-time. Okay. You may not know that. I, 
I know there's um, a handful of permanent full-time communications officers. Okay. Permanent part-time. No, I'm, she asked if they're full-time. Oh, Yeah, okay. there are. Yep. Okay, the next item I have is <coughs> uh, appointment to the Board of Health. Do you have Ashley Almond? Um, okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the employee change of status for Ashley Amond, or Amond um, as of May 6th, 2018. It's a resignation. She was permanent part-time correctional officer at a rate of 13.12 an hour. I will second. I have a motion to second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Next would be the appointment to the Board of Health. Um, I will make a motion to reappoint Joyce Kicks to the Board of Health. Um, she served a partial term and so now would be reappointed for the, the full term. Okay. I will second. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Next, I have two applications for use of courthouse grounds. I have uh, Julie, I got yours first, and so I contacted the second applicant, and they were fine with removing, and they'll reschedule for another day. So, yep. So I have an application from Julie Dunn for application of the courthouse grounds for June 30th, 2018, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I will make a motion to approve the application. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Anything to add, Julie? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Next I have is the authorization for weekly withdrawals uh, for Blue Cross Blue Shield. I will make a motion to approve the authorization for direct weekly withdrawals for payment of claims and fees um, by Wellmark. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Next, I have a discussion of a proposed resolution for uh, utilization of local option sales tax funding uh, in support of the Ackley Economic Development Group and the Iowa Falls Area Development Group. And there was a little bit of uh, language that uh, needed to be changed. There was no sunset date on it, so it would automatically renew. And my fear was if there wasn't something saying it needed to be renewed, that it could put us in a financial, uh, you know, a fiscal dilemma if the money wasn't there and it was automatically renewed. So I'm going to uh, have Daryl. Um, look at the proposed resolution and then bring it back for full consideration at a future meeting. Okay, so we need to table it then? Yeah, I, I'm this is just for discussion. Mr. Chairman? Yes? If you bring it back at a later meeting because of budgetary, IFADC will be approving their budget at their meeting in July. Okay. And we would want to make sure that if there is a decision one way or another that it's included. So I don't know when right. you plan to bring it back. Um, hopefully by next week. And are you meeting when? The third. third. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Yep. Any further discussion on that resolution? Or okay. No. Item 20 uh, is the Hardin County risk analysis, disaster recovery, and emergency mode of operations document that Central Iowa Community Services utilizes to maintain continuity of operations in the event of a disaster. Lynn Adams uh, is here. Um, anything else you'd like to explain about the document or? No, I think it's, it's we review the document every year. There were just some slight changes. Uh, we had a staff change. And then Micah reviewed it. And I don't, I don't, remember that she made any changes, but it's just basically annually we're asked to review it and we send it into the region. Okay. Thank you, Lynn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve 
the Hardin County Risk Analysis Data Disaster Recovery and Emergency Mode of Operations for the Community Services Office. I will second that. I have a motion to second. Any further discussion? On the bottom of that, it gives the dates. Yeah. The updating and mm -hmm. yeah. effective. I just want to make sure yep. we had some dates on it. Okay. All in favor of approving the document, say aye. 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 Next, uh, item 21, I have a request for a joint meeting with the City of Iowa Falls. Today, um, Mayor Newgard and City Administrator Jody Anderson joined us uh, just to talk about that request for a meeting. So sure. Um, Thanks for coming down. You bet. Um, so we, we um, the council was a little caught off guard with um, with the plans for county shed there, and their frustration was not with the county supervisors. Um, they had extended sewer services to that property, which cost us one hundred ten thousand dollars for construction, and then the engineering costs on top of that. So. They have other locations that they would like to suggest to the county for a uh, possible location of the county shed up there. Um, they would like to work with Green Javante to see if that pro or property could be developed for economic development mm -hmm. or residential, which would be best for the county and the city, school districts, yeah. and everyone. So um, they really don't need a joint meeting. They just <clears throat> wanted me to come down here and kind of explain the city's position on it. Obviously, yep. Grand Javante can sell the property to whoever they wish to. You know, if the county wanted to proceed with that, um, they obviously could also, but right. um, we would, just because of the investment we made on behalf of Grand Javante, um, we would rather see that property used for some kind of an economic development, which would behoove everybody. Now. Right. Yep. So um, if, if there would be no reason at this point, at this time for a dream. Okay. Yeah, and I just think there was a misconception that there was already paperwork signed or dollars and cents and, and you know, the only communication that the counties had with Grand Javante was their request for bonding um, and come to find out the reason they needed us for bonding is because of our uh, uh, jurisdiction over the property in Iowa Falls and Ackley and they would like to have, you know, knocked it out with one bond uh, come to find out, they were more interested in, um, you know, potentially moving or s liquidating that property in Iowa Falls, and then they only needed one bonding authority. And so um, I think the way the two entities got tied up was through that bonding meeting rather than any looking at any property. And I know Taylor had met with Cindy and got a list of available properties several months ago which none included Grand Javante because it wasn't, you know, on the market. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we would, you know, be interested in any location that was fiscally feasible but logistically uh, best for the engineer and secondary roads department. So, yeah. But thank you for coming down and explaining. Sure. So, thank you. I would just assume they meet with the uh, engineer. He's the one that. I'm not tied to any specific location, so. Um, this, this is something that's been going on for years, talking about that with the Owl Falls shed and the shape it's in, the Ackley shed that's, we haven't had anybody in for five years now. Probably pretty close to that. And to look at relocating, if it's even possible, to where you could build a shed that would house multiple areas with the sheds we have, they're too small. Some of them are even too small to even put the equipment in with the blades. And it's a beginning process. Yeah, I, I know that you kind of share and, and I think uh, you share share. I don't know if you've spoken about sites in Owl Falls, but um, we would, you know, be very excited to have a county shed located in Owl Falls and, and work to help you find sites that would work with you. Um, just that that particular site we put quite a bit of investment mm -hmm. into, which... Um, takes said, away from us, right? Yeah. 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 What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it takes away from us. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's... Because it's, we have a 12-inch water no. line and, and just right. bringing sewer services to that area, um, we would like to see some kind of you know, development of that property other than for county uses, so... Yep. And I, think I agree. That would work well for everybody. Yep. I'm glad we're on the same page and that we could, 
you know, now advert some of the misnom misinformation and, and the hearsay that's out there. So thank you both. Thank you for putting the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, item 22, I have a list that the assessor's office has provided with ineligible homestead and military credits to be disallowed for 2017 payable 2018. Um, I will make a motion to approve the requests um, or the, the, the list from the assessor on il ineligible homestead and military credits to be disallowed. To be allowed and disallowed. I will second. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? As listed. As, yes, as listed. Okay. All in favor of approving the list as Presented, say aye. 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 Opposed? Next I have is two change of status from the recorder's office. Hi, Lori. I'll make a motion to approve the change of status for Laura Eisenhower at an hourly rate of $12 an hour. Um, she was hired and she's the administrative assistant in the recorder's office. And that will be as of July 1st, 2018. I will second that. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 And then I have one additional change of status in the recorder's office. I'll move to approve the change of status. Cheryl Lawrence, department recorder. She's a deputy recorder. The listed amount has been changed to 465 effective July 1st. I'll second that. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 At this time, we'll go ahead and recess to conduct uh, employee performance review. I'll go ahead and... Oh. Um, sh I just... Um, you know what? Yeah, let's... We'll take... We got four minutes. Yeah. Other business. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that we do have one tax that we have to abate for court order. Okay. Um, we don't have to have it on the agenda. There doesn't have to be a resolution, but I'd like to let, let you know that we are abating a tax. The uh, city of Iowa Falls took a property um, over for abandonment, so I do have to abate those taxes. What's okay. the amount, do you know? $240. Okay. okay. Thank you, Michelle. Mr. And Chairman, yes. I'd like to introduce Angela Delariva, who is the new Ackley uh, Executive Director oh. for Ackley Development Commission. Hi, Angela. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. She began on Monday this week. So. All, right, All right. Good. Would you like to stand up and give a speech? <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't give her a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. Okay. Any other business? Okay, so at this time I will go ahead and ask for recess and grab uh, Jody. All right. I'll make a motion to recess. Okay. Second. Okay. We're reconvened. It is uh, 11.02 a.m. Uh, we are out of closed session. At this time, we're going to address item number 14, which is the approval of the fiscal year 1819 salaries. And there are a couple amendments. Uh, County Engineer Taylor Rawls here to discuss three amendments, or actually two amendments, <laughs> uh, to the salaries that uh, we'll consider to update on the list. So go ahead, Taylor. So I had turned the sheet into Kelly before you guys have made your decision on the performance-based review and she had called me afterwards so there's five employees and we talked about three of them so the other two uh, so it's, it's my bad for not talking to Kelly about those two she had taken the numbers I gave her and not what it was according to uh, so that they both got high enough where it was a percent and a half on top of the cost of living increase so I did the math and BJ has the numbers there in front of him it wasn't a lot, but I feel like it's 
what they're due. So okay. I think they should get what you guys have decided for them to get. Okay. Um, so the amended amount for Joe Donald would be $51,665.00. Angela Sylvie would be $38,220.00. So that would be, in addition, it'll be recorded. Uh, we just completed uh, Jody Mesh's uh, performance evaluation per our policy and his wage will be $61,315.00. These will be recorded um, in the auditor's office. So. All right, I'll make a motion to approve um, the salary list. Um, the, and share, it'll all be oh, reflected yes. here. Cheryl Lawrence would be $46,500 in zero cents. Sorry. So I have a motion. Can you repeat the motion, please? I will make a motion to approve the salary list as um, as amended or as changed as stated by BJ and he has the official list. I will second that. Okay. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? I, I do. Um, I don't recall. I, I know you have some employees that had some added contracts. It was, it's taken care of. It is those, in here. Those are the three that I talked with Kelly about. Okay. Yeah. I just, I know we skipped them last year and I don't want to miss them again. Yep, they are good to go. Okay. Okay. I was thinking those, if it's the three contracts I was thinking, I thought those had expired. This is the last one. It said through fiscal year 19. Oh, all right. Okay. I'm wrong then. Okay. I wasn't sure if they're up or not. I just want to make sure it got handled. Yeah, I discussed yeah. it with them. I think I'm like, I think this is the last time, guys, and they all agree. So. Okay. Okay. All right. All in favor? Uh, so Nancy, roll call. Renee. Aye. Lance. Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, one other thing that I forgot in other business was um, I do want to address the article in the Times Citizen today regarding. Um, the county's failure to keep minutes from um, work session type meetings. I think it's important that the public understand that um, I went back to 2007 meetings and the practice has never been to keep the minutes since 2007. While I can't pinpoint exactly how many county attorneys we've had, um, that you know we've never been um, instructed that our work sessions where no decisions, no um, contracts are signed or executed um, have ever been recorded. But in going along with the Freedom of Information Act, I think it's important that the public understand that um, Hardin County goes above and beyond where we need to be in terms of providing public notice. Uh, the basic public notice is to put it on the rotunda bulletin board. Uh, there's no um, requirement that we record and, and post the videos to YouTube and I think it does a great public service but when we get feedback that our equipment was out of service last week you would have believed it was the end of the world and so that's a very difficult thing to have to you know try to explain to the public what the true Freedom of Information Act is. So going forward, we've consulted with the county attorney and he has instructed us and given us a template to utilize with our board secretary to make sure that those meetings are properly documented and, uh, and recorded in the right fashion. 
Um, one of the things that was also brought up to me is um, we're going to have to look at what is ministerial and what is social and what is true county business. And unfortunately, it appears that there are such fine lines that we are going to likely need to entrust the services of the board secretary on a more frequent basis. And with that being said, I, I think in the near future, we need to discuss bringing the board secretary under the board of supervisors guise because it is going to entail quite a bit more work. And you know, if we do travel to an economic development meeting in Iowa Falls, our board secretary is going to need to attend that with us. It's not as easy as signing a permission slip or a fill in the blank. Um, and so a lot of this caught me off guard because uh, the Iowa Falls Times Citizen wrote a, a, an amazing editorial about how great it was to have the Hardin County Board of Supervisors sit with the Iowa Falls Ac and Ackley Development Corporations in the same room and but then less than two weeks later um, you know the the means in which we record the minutes were then scrutinized and so um, moving forward I think we need to look at what the logistics are and what the public scrutiny uh, is going to be in how we uh, conduct business to avoid any litigation or uh, public perception of failure to be transparent. My comment is when you're talking work sessions it makes me immediately think of the budget. When we're working on the budget in work sessions I'm not real sure how the board secretary is going to take those minutes because it's just discussing departments budgets um, and also areas where there is no actual department it's just us talking about what it's going to cost what we need to budget for this or for that um, and that may change throughout the process so I don't know how someone is going to follow that whole process I just when we say work session it's not really like a decision is always made um, it's just discussion regarding a topic which like I said my first thought comes to budget um, so I guess those whenever we schedule a work session we always give a 20 at the minimum 24 hour notice um, usually it's more than that um, the media is welcome to come to any of those work sessions um, but it seems it's a very rare occasion that anybody does if ever um, so yeah it's it's going to end up costing the taxpayers to have someone sit in work sessions where it's just kind of discussion and rarely any decision made because if we if it is a decision to be made that happens usually in a board meeting um, so it it like BJ said it may it does happen in a board meeting yes did you say it usually happens y okay <laughs> yeah it happens in a board meeting I mean we might discuss budget figures but before I mean we don't approve those until we approve the budget right. um, so it may end up costing more to hire either a full-time board secretary or additional help in the auditor's office if Nancy moves to, to um, be full-time under the board. Um, that's just something that's... Yeah, but I, I, I agree. I think... But we have to obey the law. Right, and the law costs money to obey mm -hmm. and enforce and have that oversight. So <coughs> um, some of the examples... Um, you know, when Renee and I traveled to Columbus, Ohio to meet with APTA Health, you know, where does it stop that, you know, the board secretary will need to travel to that event? Um, ministerial is, you know, um, easily arguable, but is ministerial worth a court case? Absolutely not. So at this point, um, I think Hardin County has a chance moving forward today to have been made an example of and it's going to get the attention of other entities both on the city, township, uh, county 
and regional and a lot of other entities that there are people watching and that, yeah, the, the wheels of, uh, of government are going to slow down tremendously because of this, and that's okay. I want people to see how government operates. I want to assure them that there's no collusion or conspiracy to do anything, <coughs> but at the same time, they're going to have to understand the expense of doing that. Well, I remember here a few years back on uh, department head meetings, I believe the question was asked, do we need to take minutes for department head meetings? I think the question was asked I to uh, Christy Hersberger, is that right? Mm -hmm. I, I can't guarantee that though, but for some reason I thought the results was that no, they do not need to be taken. Yeah. And that's, <coughs> otherwise, I know the question had been asked, otherwise we would be taking minutes every time, so the right. answer must, but I can't, I don't know if it came from Christy or not. And I, I don't think there is any malicious intent because just randomly picking, I think it was September 7th, 2007, there was a 10 a.m. regular board meeting and at 9 a.m. Irv Miller, Ed Bear, and Jim Johnson met with somebody from an animal rescue league or something and comparing the agenda to the minutes, there's no minutes for that meeting with the, you know, the uh, animal shelter. Uh, you know, there's, I've looked at minutes from the economic development people when they met with us. There's no minutes from those. Um, the one thing regarding economic development, those meetings um, are going to be compromised as well because there's a lot of economic developers that don't want things made public. And so it could hamper economic development in Hardin County. Um, not to say that there are are not means of um, delegating individual supervisors to meet with potential entrepreneurs in the county, but um, I think it makes more sense to utilize Iowa Code to have those meetings. In, in or the, either that or we'll have more closed session meetings. Right, absolutely. So, uh, but I just wanted to acknowledge the article in the paper and, and yeah, the times are changing and it's going to uh, utilize additional taxpayer resources and assets at this point. So that's all I have. More for other business. Um, I mentioned something to Taylor. We were working on a contract with him. Will that be on next week's agenda? I hope so. How, yep. about, how about the current handbook? We were looking at changing some changes in the handbook. Um, I believe a copy's been, I think you got a copy sent to you from Mike, from but Mike? not an updated one. Okay. But what if do you, you did. Not updated, I don't. From yesterday's or the day before emails. Oh, no. But I think he had one ready for us to do. Okay. So I'll look at that and um, communicate that with Nancy to if that needs to be added to the agenda. Mm -hmm. For next week. Yes. And a third one. We've been doing the every other week. It seems with drainage today and the meetings, do we want to go back to every week meetings? Yeah. I would I would agree. It's yeah. been very confusing. Yeah. We've had yeah. to call special it, meetings. Put that on yep. the agenda mm -hmm. for next week to talk right. about and as well. And we'll just set yeah. the dates. And I know there's times where um, the meetings we have, have had complaints or concerns from the media that they show up for a three-minute meeting, but um, knowing what I know today, we c you can't have it both ways. All right. um, and I did, I've received phone calls from one member of the media, Joel McCall up at KLMJ, that are very gracious that, you know, we have the video of the, the main meetings and he can skim through, find what he wants, and if he has questions, he can follow up. Yep. Um, so you know, as long as that's available. But yeah, I have no problem adding um, regular meetings back every week and. Well, I just wanted for a discussion for next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think we can I would agree. discuss that, so, yep. That's all I had for okay. other business. Taylor, what do you got for us? <laughs> right. Every week sounds good. Okay. And there's never a time crunch trying to play the game of 
every other week. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. It would be easier. Yep. So, all right. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. <laughs>